Hello everyone and welcome back to In The Pan with Joe and Diane, Easter special. As you know, Easter is just around the corner, um, so we thought we'd do a little Easter special for you this week. We went on Pinterest and tried to find the most satisfyingly amazing looking cake slash treat we could for Easter, and I think we found it. It's called... The Cream Egg Anti-Gravity Easter Brownie Nest. Yes, the, I feel like With the title... With no full stops. Exactly, I feel like the title of this video is going to be very, very long. The author of this is Michelle, a lady called Michelle from Giraffes Can Bake. So shout out to you, Michelle. It looks incredible. Go, Does. Go and check her out. There is a massive twist for today's video because we are not only creating this anti-gravity Easter brownie nest, is that right? Yeah, anti-gravity right. Easter. Whoa, how do you oh, want to, how do you do that without reading it? I was revising last night. I think it'll still I'll still be reading it at the end. Let me go and get the secret ingredient. Okay, go on. <laughs> Joe! Joe! Hold Put on. me up down there! Hold on, hold on. Are you ready to come back up yet? Oh. Oh. Stairs to take here it out of here. Huh? Cadbury cream eggs. Yes, but these, believe it or not, are all the rare Cadbury's white cream eggs. Oh the white goodness. ones. Do you know what? I didn't even know they existed. Exactly. You may have seen a lot of videos of people um, unpackaging these really rare white cream eggs, but have you ever seen a cake full of white Cadbury's cream eggs? Never. Let alone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When you get them, you open them and you can win potentially £10,000. How? Because there's a little code in the wrapper sometimes. Are you but joking? I'm not joking, I'm Joe Suck. But essentially this could be a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100,000 pound cake. cake. So I'm going to lead this because I'm the baker. Joe doesn't have a clue what we're doing, but we're going to make a brownie. Okay. Have you ever made a brownie before? Uh, in my pants. <laughs> I've never made a brownie. Right. I don't think anyway. Me either. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, actually, I did prep one earlier. What's that, so I say, I well, send to that Louis Theroux detail actually, then. I did actually eh? prep one earlier because I've been watching cooking shows and they always prep one earlier, so I, I just had to do that because I think enough. it's cool. Now, mm. first thing we need to do is melt 115 grams of that. Your job is to measure it out because I don't know how to do that part. 115, so a half. So a half it and bit. then a little bit less of that. So then little. you need to put 100 grams of dark chocolate. This is a, oh no, this is where we go wrong again. This is a 150 gram bar. So What's that's... 100 grams of that? Oh. Right, so this goes in the pan. Pop, pop it in the pan. In the pot. In the Sorry. pot. In the pot with Joe and Dot. No, oh, yeah, because my name's Dot as well. You need 100 grams of that. That's 150 grams. Really? So it's three quarters of it. You three quarters, yeah. Okay, so now we need 50 grams of sugar. So, you pop that in as well. Now this one is easy because we've actually got We've got a measuring sugar, cylinder. Sugar, look, and we need 50 grams Oh, it's of got it. sugar on there. Yeah, isn't that well, cool? Well, you just put 100 in. No, look, when you do it like that, it's 50. Hold on, no, you've got to put a level on the table. Always make sure you, when you're measuring stuff out like this. Yeah, but Joe, you can't be too long because level. look, that's melting already. Okay, that's about 50. Right, Good job. pour in the sugar. Are you sure you put it all in together like that? Just yep. Mix in the... Yep. And now you and now you got to melt that. So okay. melt that and then melt a little bit. Shouldn't we have let the, sh the butter melt a bit before we put the chocolate? No, in the... it's all going to go in together. Now what you're going to prepare for that is you're going to prepare the brown sugar, which you need um, 125 grams of brown sugar. 125 grams of brown sugar, and then I would like you to prepare two eggs, please, whilst I. Oh, do you know what? This. Nightmare on Elm Street. What happened? We haven't got enough. It's all right, that's fine. Oh no, wait, we've got about 100. Yeah, that's all right, add the rest in white sure? sugar. Get me two eggs, please, prepared. How do you mean by, what do you mean by prepared? Like, get them, like, crack them open. I just want to say, look, I, I'm very good at cracking eggs now. Are you? Can you Baking, do it one-handed? Yeah. Watch this. Why are you looking at, oh, I thought you were scared. No, I'm not scared, I'm reading. Oh no, that's uh -oh. right. Oh, oh, there's, oh my God, Joe, there's two there's shells in there. There's a lot of shell there. in there, but do you know what? Don't worry, because you can use eggshell to get out eggshell. All right, look at this, Joseph. Hang on, no, I'm trying to get Michelle out. Okay. Michelle, get it? Michelle. She fell in. Who's Michelle? This is such a bad egg joke. Who is Michelle? What a rotten joke. <laughs> no <laughs> rotten egg. What, you <laughs> snort? <laughs> Don't snort around the bacon when you're baking. I did actually snort. Rule 101. How did that even happen? Rule 101, never snort whilst baking. Oh, look how deep orange that is. That is when you know you've got good eggs. Ah! Okay, I've beaten the eggs. I've beaten the absolute 
yolk out of it. It looks excellent. Oh, nice. <laughs> that looks edgy. What? Oh. Edgy. Edgy? Why edge? It's like, e. No. <laughs> I'll give you an, exa an, an example of a good egg pun. Ready? Go on. That was cracking. That was a cracking pun you that did earlier. That was good. Get it? Because you would crack eggs. Put the eggs in. Yeah. Could have guessed that. Yeah. So what you want is half a, te a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Well, that's a tablespoon. Yeah, so put in a little bit less than that. Or we could just get a teaspoon. Or you could do that. Yeah. Yep. Ooh. Lovely. Right. Yes. That's perfect. Perfect. Bosh. And then you want to put a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Oh. So, you know what? Just put a little, just put one dash. That's fine. Really? Yeah, that's, an, that's Ooh, enough. Sorry, I had to do a little extra one. Into there, you're yeah. gonna put 50 grams of cocoa powder. And this brownie is coming together nice. Oh, ding, ding, ding. We've already made a mistake, Joe. What? What you should do before any of this happens is turn the oven on. You always have to preheat the oven. Fan to assisted. 180 degrees. And another thing which Joe doesn't have, which, you know, we don't have all the utensils yet. But we're getting there. You need a sifter. Joe tells me this morning. Don't call me a sifter. He doesn't have a sifter. So this may be a little lumpy, but if you have a sifter at home, make sure you sift it. Oh my word. There's literally no need. There we go. We've got our cocoa powder. 50 grams. In there. Bosh into the mix. In the mix. Yeah. Oof. Like I said, sift it if you can. Now, Joseph. You're going to prepare for me 115 grams of plain flour. Hey, this is a good one. What dance involves a whisk? Is this a joke or is this like a... No, trivia. Oh. You should know this. We did many of them in our dance routine. Which dance do we do it in? I'll give you a the clue. Samba. Well done. Is that right? Yeah. Get in. Whisk in the samba. Pop her in. Lovely. Now, there's one more ingredient Sweet that we now. need. And you need to add uh, half a teaspoon of baking powder. Check her out. Oh. You know what I feel like doing? I feel like being Homer Simpson and just standing under it going. Oh. 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 Mm. Joseph. Yes. Get me that tin. Boom. Baking tin. Right. Now, what we have to do is place it into this grease proofed tray. Do you need one of these? No, first. No, you don't know. Okay. I was thinking. There's cause... enough butter in this for it to come out. Because oh, I was thinking you might need one of these that. little grease proof things. Why are you this, talking like you know what you're Whoa, talking you're about? Well, you're flicking it everywhere. Did I? Oh, sorry about that. Oh. Damn. Sorry. I, I, the thing about baking is don't be afraid to make mess. No. Oh yeah, it's fine when it's not your kitchen. Don't be afraid of it. You're flicking it everywhere. Joe, I'm hearing this and I want to hear this. <laughs> Looks so chocolatey, doesn't it? No, it just gives me anxiety. Why? Just how messy it is and like gloopy and like, oh, I love it. You know what? Oh, I would absolutely love to have a bath filled with this and just go in there and just- Would you do that? Oh, definitely I would do think, that. I can think of nothing worse. I think it would be so cool. Now we're going to put that in the oven for 30 minutes. Brownie complete. So that's going to take about 30 minutes, but as you all know, on cooking shows, they always prepare one earlier. Is that what's underneath the Louis Theroux tea So towel? I have actually prepared not one, but two earlier. Ta-da! Oh my God. I know. I know it broke, I'm sorry. It broke. Now that we've got our brownie, yeah. we're going to start to make it look beautiful. Decoration. So we need to make a ganache. Who? Ganache. I think my uncle's fluent in ganache. Is it a language? I don't know, I think so. Now we need to make a ganache. So what we need, Joe, is 250 grams of dark chocolate. How many is in that? So that's 150, we need two of those. Actually, oh. no, we don't, we need one. We need nearly two of those. And we also need 350 mils of double cream. All right. Double cream coming right up. Finally chop the dark chocolate and put it in a heat proof bowl. Oh, this is very satisfying. Do you know what my one of my favourite things is? To lick the lid of a cream. I love cream. I could eat cream for breakfast, lunch and dinner, I could. Eat it or drink it? Oh, everything. Yeah. Look at Kat, they got the cream, look at you. Do you want to try it? No, absolutely not, get away. Okay, 350 mils <laughs> of cream. <laughs> you may as well mix this all in your mouth rather than in the <laughs> pot. Put it in there. It, pouring it into the hob, on, it's on, it's on, we're on number four setting. 
get that fine. We don't need it to be too hot because what you want to do is bring it to a nice little boil. Oh gosh, the ganache needs to be put in the fridge for half an hour, Joe. Oh, f oh, yeah. oh, that's ruined. We should have prepared one earlier. This we're is why bacon stresses me out. So we're going to have to break and, and come back because I didn't prepare a ganache earlier. Right, so bringing this to the boil. So, uh, Basically, what happens now... You don't boil cream. And br you do you don't bring it to the boil. You bring it to the boil. Where does it say that on the on the instructions? Uh, so to make the ganache. Bring to gentle boil. You told you. Uh, a gentle boil. Yeah. So a gentle boil means a couple of bubbles. I've got a gentle boil on my last cheek. Oh, nice. <laughs> Are you gently boiled? Are you gently boiling? I'm not yet. Okay, not yet. Needs a little bit more. Got any cool products coming up? I feel like I'm like a host now. Yeah, you're a host. There's this thing called Strictly Come Dancing. Have you heard of it? Yes. Oh, good. Yeah, well, I'm um, I'm a professional dancer on that. No, I know that, but are you on are you on this series coming up? Yes, I am. I was on it last series as well. Hopefully, yeah, I, was, um, I, was, I was I was there. I saw it. Happen. Hopefully, this season I win it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm excited. Should we? Uh, uh, I'm just going to undress one of these for you. So Don't. You can see it, I've look. never, ever, ever seen one of these. Let's talk before. about our secret ingredients. So oh the my legendary God. white cream eggs. Now this is the key ingredient for what we're using today. We're going to get these, cut them in half, oh and lay them around the edge of the God, cake. God, I'm so Oozing excited. Out. White. That is so cool. Yeah. When you start seeing bubbles, go. Yep. Yeah. That, there we go. Uh, there we go. There's a slight little bubble. Yeah, there. it's bubbling. It's bubbling, and you're dripping it everywhere. Sorry about that. I'm going to pour okay, half we... over the top. Oh my good. Stir now. Yep. And give it stir, 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 stir. Instantly, I can Turn feel the off. resistance of the lovely dark chocolate. Look at the chocolate mixating. Is that even a word, or is it your word? of lovely cream. Feel the ooseness. Look at the flavour noise in that. Look at the flavour noise. You know what would be so cool on videos? Like if you capturing could... the flavour noise and be, letting our viewers at home smell the flavour. Yeah, flavor. if you could smell it. Imagine wow. if you could just like go up to the screen and go... How'd you go? Cool. So, now we're going to put that into the refrigerator for 30 minutes or half an hour. Fridge, we're not Americans. Fridge. Refrigerator. <laughs> Dying. Right. We've done our brownie, which looks absolutely Ta -da! impeccable. Look so at that. So we now have three tiers of brownie. That is pure brownie right there. And it goes from biggest to smallest. That, that kind of cool? happened because we just we prepared the ones we prepared earlier and then the new one. Oh. And then the new ones in the middle. So these two we prepared earlier and that's the new one in the middle. So we've made the ganache, we've made our brownie. Now we need to make the cream egg filling. Yes, that bit you saw in the picture where you can see it all dripping out of the egg suspended in midair, defying gravity. Uh, that's what we're going to go for. What we need to do, Joseph, is yes. we need one kilo of icing sugar. One kilogram. This is 500, 500 grams. So two, so of those. two of these. Oh my word, that's a lot of icing sugar. I know. Put going one in. kilo of icing sugar oh in. Oh my word, this is like my dream. This is like dry ice. Whoa, it does. Look at that. I feel like one of those like vape people. Look at this. Are you sure one kilogram? I'm positive. One, oh my god. One kg. Now get measure 125 mils of water. 125 mils of water. Yes, while he's doing that. Cold water. Yep. 125. Yep. It's not a lot. That'll do. That'll do. 125 mil of water into the pan. Yes. Into the pot. Into the pan, Joe. So we need to put it on a low heat as well. Gosh, if we can even see oh my it. God, we can't see it. It's like everything's like dusted. Two tablespoons of golden syrup. One. Two. Yeah. So, and then you need to put in, um, for the cream filling, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and one then we need to put One tablespoon it. or teaspoon? One, um, tablespoon um, or teaspoon? um, 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 Quick, 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 quick. Teaspoon! Vanilla extract in there. You oh. want it to be thick, but still able to flow. Okay, ganache is nice and done. Do Where we, I... do we have any goggles or, um, masks for our <laughs> face? No, I don't think so. Don't use, you're not supposed to use a metal spoon in that saucepan. No. See, this is no, why you always no, need... No, no, you're not supposed to use that. You're not supposed to scrape that pan with that spoon. All right, well, get me a wooden spoon then, Joe. Yes. I don't want to worry. We've made, we've made cauliflower. Can we Look. get a get a little bit more water, Joe? Quick! We've made cauliflower. We need to work quickly here, Joseph. Oh, no, I think this is good. No, it's got to be quite thick. It's got to, like, almost stick to the, the wooden it's, post. This is... Yeah, that's it. A little tiny bit, tiny bit. Yeah, that's good. 
No, oh. Joe, way too much. Nah. We don't have any more icing sugar to That's add. That's fine. Oh my God, you've really ruined that. No, I haven't. Yes, it's you not, have. I can't look. Thick. We've just beat it. There's no flow. Yeah, there's, now, now there's flow. Now there's flow. No, that yes. is not. That is way too much water, Joe. You've ruined it. We don't, <laughs> we don't have any more icing sugar. No, it's fine. In. We Joe, do, we have two packs. Look, this for me. What are the two packs? Oh, that's fine then. It's too glue. It's way too runny. You need it the much thicker than that. Guys, you know, if you make a stupid mistake like I just did, just add more icing sugar. That's right. not enough. And take over from here. So, moral of the story is well, always have extra ingredients with you. Oops. Yeah, extra ingredients. Look, you just, you just <laughs> wasted half of it across the thing. It's very hard. What we need to do is transfer a quarter of it. Oh, how would we measure a quarter? I just think, like, yeah. That's probably a quarter. No, it's not. Another big scoop. Two big scoops per quarter. So this is going to be the orange part of our Cadbury's cream egg filling. Uh, and the stuff's still in the pot. The majority of it is going to be the whiteness of the cream egg filling. This is the fun part. We get to make this orange. Yes. I'm a hairdresser, so I should do it. OK, cool. Fine. So we couldn't find orange um, food colouring. So as I'm half hairdresser, half dancer, I have knowledge in mixing colours. Yellow cake. and red makes orange, but not too much red. The tiniest bit of red, because red's a much stronger colour than yellow. Thanks for that, Joe. That's it, literally it, that's enough. That's going to be perfect. Oh, I'm excited for this. Go on, Diane. Get in there. Keep it in the bowl, though, look. You're getting too reckless. Not reckless. There's, there's, there's no, you sound there's like no, my dad when you say that. There's no, look, 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 there's no rush on this bit. You've got to mix the ganache first. With what? You now need to beat it for like a good old... With what? With, the, with that. Ah, okay. And you need to you need to really mix it for three minutes. Okay, I'm glad you told me that now. I've been doing this a long time ago. Three minutes. Whiskey, whiskey. How does Mary Berry do this with her arms? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a workout. I'd love to. Mary Berry must have four arms. I would four love. Arms like an absolute Should we trooper. ask Mary Berry if she wants to come <laughs> and cook with us? I think she would say. Uh, no chance. I'm disgusted by what I've seen of Aww, you guys. Oh, but it's we're trying. I've seen Diane use a metal spoon in a Teflon. Um, saucepan. I've seen Joe. They're not wearing hair nets. How Does dare it... they not wear hair nets? Oh my god. Now I know how they feel the Lindor Lint adverts. Look at my forearm. Look at the veins in it. Whoa. Oh, it's like I haven't seen, seen that since like Thatcher days. There we go. That's perfect orange. In it. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Remember, you need to have cold hands. <laughs> cold hands to handle your flakes. Always have cold hands when handling your flakes. Drop freezing cold hands, they won't crumble, they won't melt. Now that we've got our ganache, that looks good. It looks really good. What we need to do is cover the brownie with ganache. Yeah. This is for more um, experienced people. Okay. So I'll do this part. Right, I'm off. See you guys. <laughs> I'll go stand over here. Now, what we have to do. Looks great from here, Diane. Is basically. Yeah. Put the. <laughs> oh, it looks phenomenal from here. We're going to cover this yeah. with ganache. Cool. So this is the fun bit. Now this is quite a good ganache, Joe. You've done well here. Because we want to cover it so that the... Can um, I put it on my Wikipedia page? ...flakes can stick to it. It's almost like a... I'll call it your glue. Can I put it on my Wikipedia page? What does that mean? That I'm, I'm good at making a ganache. You could. I'll give you that. Oh, you just dumped it it's on fine. the... It's fine. You clean it up after, Joe. I told you, when you bake, you can't be afraid. You can't be too clean. That's like what's inside a um, Lindor Lint chocolate. Like the, you know, the gooey chocolate in the middle. It's going to have a, a bed of flakes all around it. So my job now is to open up the flakes. Um, I'm just going to get in their little pouches ready to go. Some of them are actually already broken. Guys, leave a comment below what you think of this so far. Is it making you really hungry? Do you want to try it out yourself? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And also let us know what you think of Diane's baking skills. She claimed that she was such a good baker to start with. Is she living up to that reputation? Or do you think you could bake better than Diane? Let us know in the comment section below. Right, okay. now, got so flakes. what we want to do is assemble the flakes. Now, because it's nice and sticky, you can help me with this bit, Joe. I'll let you. Don't worry about being too perfect because you can always... Angle. It's rustic. It is rustic. What you can do as well is you crush your hand and drizzle it over. Yeah, we won't do that. Okay. Be very gentle with your flaking. Yeah. Joe. What? Good work. <laughs> <laughs> You're 100% going to tell me off then. Yeah, I was. Then you realise I actually did good. It's architecture. 
We're basically doing chocolate architecture now. Rome wasn't built in a day. I know, it was built in two. This is so fun, I could do this day in, day out. See, I couldn't, this is the one off for me. I love this. I like, oh, whoop. This just gives me Be full very anxiety. careful with your flaking. My mum is gonna ring me after this when she sees this. She's gonna say, good job, Diane. I can't wait for that phone call. In there. the shop as well, the lady's like, Aaron, what are all those flakes for? What are you doing with all those flakes? Why do you go like we've just shopped in the worst country? <laughs> oh. We don't actually need that many more flakes. Four off, Joe. Look. Now that we have assembled the outside of our brownie, put your cake dowels in the centre of the cake next to each other. Oh, can I do that? I love this bit. Yeah, but push them in angles so they're not go so they're, they're going too high. upwards. Too high? No, fine. Because it said eight inches, did it say? Hang on, let me just measure out eight inches. <laughs> did you do that on purpose? What? Did you do that on purpose? What? Mmm. <laughs> Did you do it on purpose? No, we've got a chocolate on my face. Yes. That's probably about eight inches. Don't look. I'm gonna put ganache on the top, just in case, before you put them in. Yes. Ganache it up, baby. One good oh, yeah. job. That's a bit too far down. It's good. Two. Now. Look at that. We have to crack the egg. So get me an egg. Diane, then you can be Diane, gentle. Diane. No, Joe. You're cutting at the wrong angle. I'm not. Trust me, just for once, trust me. See? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. How right was I? That's quite good, but that's a bread knife. Yeah, and you were gonna do it with one of these knives. That would be fine. Wait, no, because we're gonna just you... tap it. No, 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 you're wrong. Oh. Ta da! I nailed that. Put a dollop of ganache on top of the cake dowels. Okay, you got that. Nice dollop. Absolute dollop parting. That's a big old dollop there. Big. Then position your egg halves on top and press down. It's not working. It's, do you know what? The ganache is not um, frozen enough. That helps if you bounce like that. Do you know what? Get a bit of that white stuff and put it in the middle here. A bit of, it's like acts as glue. Yeah, it's like glue. We should probably use that stuff on here instead. Get a bit of that glue and put it on the top of this. Use the icing sugar now to hold it. So like the icing sugar will be actually better. We're getting dirt. Oh, I hadn't finished. Got it. Got it. Nice. Got it. Then spread ganache on the e on the edges of the egg halves that are gonna meet. Oh, we've oh, already done, done, done that. Oh. oh no, you're dirty. Yeah. <laughs> so next up, we're gonna need a piping bag uh, to actually squirt it inside there, so it looks like the uh, the cream egg is trickling down. I'm gonna now use this on the bottom. Okay, now squish it, and you're gonna pipe it down the sticks. Oh my word! Right, get out of the way then. Will you do the white pipe, and I'll do the red pipe. Like that. Yeah, pipe it down, pipe it down. Oh no. You need to cover the stick. Yeah. I'm gonna make my own piping bag. No. Yeah, because I gotta do the orange. Mm -hmm. Feel free to pipe up if you've, uh, if you've uh, got any suggestions, guys. You know what, baking is like doing an operation. I mean, obviously it's not on the it's, same scale. Oh, I, I can't believe you don't like it. Do you not like it? It's, oh no, it freaks me out. I love it. I can't do everything quick enough. <gasps> oh. oh my god, that was gonna go. Sorry, I get it. I just sacrificed. Stop getting it everywhere! Sorry. I told oh. you, remember, you can't be afraid of making mess when you cook. So, this is my homemade piping oh. bag. So, you want this a little thinner. Yeah, And thin a little this. bit of a. And we can actually smudge that in. Go on, Diane! Mmm, Diane. My mum, have I mentioned she'll be very pleased? That's so good, Diane. You get, you get it, girl. Great. Oh, now yes. time for the cream egg! Okay, right, let's move this out of the way. I'm glad we had all, I'm glad we had one kilogram of um, icing sugar. We definitely needed it. The main ingredient now, the fun part, begins. We unwrap our white Cadbury's cream eggs. Once again, these things are rare. Like, you don't get many of these in the UK. We're gonna do a similar thing to what Diane did before. We're gonna cut down this central line. Like that. Oh, look. Oh my gosh. The white chocolate cream eggs. We're oh place my them word. Like this. But because we've got so many, we're going to place them all the way around the outside. So pass me another one, Diane. You can unwrap them. I'll cut them and okay. place them, okay? Okay. This is something that's never been done before. I have never seen, I've never seen a Cadbury's white egg. You're about to eat a lot. I've never seen it. Look at the inside. Oh. I never heard you make that noise before. Oh. Look at that. How funny. I'm just like, keep unwrapping white Cadbury's yeah. cream eggs. You're doing what not many people can do. They're very rare. Oh, we've also got chickens. Yeah. Right, so there you 
you go. That is our uh, one of a kind um, anti gravity white cream egg cake. Brownie. Oh, brownie. Not a cake. Diane, do you want to do the honours of trying to cut it? Yes, can I make a wish at the end? Yeah, yes, of course. Cool. Right, here we go. This, this is where all I right. think it's going to all go wrong. Oh my god. That looks. Oh, there's that second layer. <laughs> Oh, nice. Wow. Can we get one of the cream eggs on there? Oh, my I'm God. afraid I'm going to maybe hurt the chick, so I'm going to move that over. Cut down. Oh, yes. Moment of truth. Dragon lift. I'm Here dragging. it comes. Oh, my word. Whoa. Look at that. Should I place it flat? Uh, yeah, I guess you have to. Look at that. <gasps> that, once again, that is a never before seen uh, anti-gravity white cream egg cake. You get the regular ones, but this is a white cream egg cake. This is, this is rare. It's like getting a Charizard in a Pokemon pack. This is like winning Strictly Come Dancing. Yeah, I can't, I can't relate. Don't know what that's like. Right. Look at where that three-tiered bread. That is start? insane. I think some icing on you need to get a bit of icing. You need a bit of cream egg. Oh, I don't want to cheers it or anything. Straight in. Is it good? No, 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 no. Oh my word. A little bit of, oh, do you know what we need? What? Sweet chilli sauce? No. <laughs> better. Oh! This is what we need. A little dollop there. Joseph, the I'm well impressed. Get the brownie with the cream. There it is. That's a game changer. Mm -hmm. That is a game there changer it is. right there. Wow. Josh. Would you like to try some? I'd love some bit of this. I've been looking forward to it the whole time. Yeah, mate. Um, it's all well and good, us liking it, but the main thing is the biggest critique of all of them, especially when it comes to puddings and sweet stuff, mm. is producer Josh. Mmm. Yes! Yes! Is that good? That is a chocolate feaster. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can feel it, can't you? Yeah. You, you can feel it. Feel that. You can feel the, feel feel, it in you your feel the fillings on their way. Yeah. You feel it in your toes. <laughs> Easter's all around us. Ten pounds. Ten yes! out of ten pounds. Our first ten out of ten pounds from producer Josh. Yes. Happy with that. And we did it together. Oh my word, team effort. See, that's the thing. Maybe we should well, all be I, each other. Well, I'd say I did maybe ninety. Two percent of it. Yeah, I was more of the sous chef on this one. But yeah. anyway, you um, cut the cream eggs. I did. That's that's a big part of it, you know. That's the selling point. The white cream eggs. Yeah. Anyway, guys, there you go. That is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you love that, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future videos like this. We want to do more. I want to do more I baking. I want to do more of this one. Let's do more of this kind I of stuff. I love this baking one. Leave a comment. Share this video with your friends. Uh, try it at home yourself. We'd love to see your version of this. Also, if you want to see the recipe uh, done proper. We'll link in the description to the, where we found the recipe and the original version. Uh, much love to the people we found it from. All Michelle. the information will be down in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon for more In The Pan with Joe and... Diane. I don't know why I made you say my yeah, name. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Bye! Bye!